Hi Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant, this is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 16th to the 30th, 2023 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will be listed in the description box below. Now before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration, and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time, Sagittarius. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. We have the Five of Pentacles. That's always a good card to be mindful of. The Five of Pentacles is feeling on the outside of wealth. Here you have this woman looking out and a hound chasing a rabbit. She's going to see something that she doesn't want to see. And it's like, I'm in a place I don't want to be in. And that's very much a situation that we kind of need to open our eyes to. What I'm seeing here is not necessarily like, I'm out in the cold. I don't feel like I'm, I'm worthy of wealth or or things like that. It's almost like, I don't know what to do now. I know I'm worthy of wealth. I know that I'm worthy of, of what I want in life, but I don't know how to move forward. It's almost like I'm, I'm scared. And when we're, we're scared, we freeze. Like that, well, that's one of the things we can do. We can get mad, we can freeze, you know, fight, flight, you know, or freeze. So here, that's, that's what we're doing. We're freezing. So just be aware of this during this time, that there are opportunities that are opening up to you. There's there's power that's, you know, coming into your sphere of being, whether it be, you know, emotionally, psychically, you know, personally, however it is. But it's like, I don't want to see this. I, I, I feel overwhelmed. So be aware because that's powerful. That is powerful. Okay. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly angels. Here we have light. Making sure that we are getting sunlight, that we are embracing light, that we are even visualizing, you know, a candle and, and breathing, you know, and blowing out that candle or just looking at a candle flame and doing a meditation like that. It's going to be so important. We're going to see that light plays a huge part in us, in having us feel good, having us not feel good, you know, stress, not being stressed, sunlight. If we can't get outside, sitting by a window would be absolutely beautiful. And if you can't do either of these, getting the the like lights that are like sunlight, that, that would be absolutely beautiful for you as well. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Ooh, I like that. Angels, this, all right. And spirit guides, there we go. All done. Okay. So we start off where we're crowned with the star. There's a wish coming true. This isn't a cross your fingers. Oh, I hope I get this, you know, for the holidays type of wish. This is a, my soul wishes for this. This is where I need to be. This is what I desire, what I really want. It might actually be in conflict with things that we have said we wanted or, you know, what we have, have been actively working towards. So just be aware of this. And that could be one of the reasons why we're afraid. There's something that our soul deeply wants that is propelling us forward. But on the other hand, we're not sure if that's actually what we want. and That's actually how we want to be. So being aware of this is going to be rather powerful. 
but there's there's also the sense of like I need to follow the star like I need to follow this light it's going to really be about the light it is it's going to be about the light coming into our lives and illuminating things we then have the page of pentacles reverse now we have the devil so there's strong capricorn energy coming forward here just to let you know we have the six of wands reverse where we're having a hard time celebrating us so being aware of that is going to be very important it can be a humble thing like i don't want to celebrate me i need to be humble but there's there's just a sense of like oh i'm having a hard time celebrating me and keeping a journal writing down and saying you know i'm going to celebrate myself or you know i'm proud of me because and just name a few things i heard the person say that he likes to go to sleep listing everything for that day that he's grateful for and if he lists what he's grateful for while he goes to sleep he says usually by the time he gets to the afternoon he's already drifting off to sleep and it puts him in a very good mind space so he has good dreams as well so i thought that was really quite cool and i wanted to share that with you guys so here with the six of of wands we need to celebrate ourselves doing things to help us celebrate ourselves and to be like active in that celebration is going to be really important and presence in our present in our lives. So keeping a journal can also be really great for that. And then we have the six of pentacles. Things don't feel really balanced. Things feel a bit out of balance. Do we want things to feel out of balance, Sagittarius? No, we don't. We want things to be structured and ordered and balanced and good. We have that strong Capricorn energy coming through. If we're born on the cusp with Capricorn, we know that we have that a bunch in our chart right now or in our lives right now. And it's like, nope, I need a plan. I want things to be moving forward the way that I need them, the way that I want them. And I don't want things going awry. So just be aware of that. With the page of pentacles reversed, we're not, there we go. <laughs> we're not really into being a student during this time. We can really find that we are like physically rejecting having to learn new things, having to understand new things. So if somebody says to you during this time, oh, you have to learn this, know that our first instinct, Sagittarius, is going to be to push it off. Like, yeah, I don't really want to right now. No, that's not really something I want to explore at this moment. Being aware of that can be beneficial to us because it's like, okay, I can get it done now. And that would help me. So being aware of this can help us, like, you know, just be like, oh, I'm never going to be in the mood to do this. Let me just get it done right away so I don't have to be haunted by it, you know, type of thing. We can also have very childish energy in our lives right now, especially having to do with money or practicality, you know, just a sense of like even childish spending. So be aware of this. Be aware of this during this time where there could just be this frustration, like I'm afraid to move forward. I'm afraid to go back. And so I'm going to do something that makes me feel good. So I'm going to shop a bit. So you know, just, just be aware if you can cover the bills, that's great, but like, don't get yourself in trouble because of this with the devil. All right. Again, addictions coming forward. And those are always, you know, drugs, alcohol, sex, food, but, and I, I list them off because we know, we know addictions, but then we have the things that, that get us like stuck. You know, it's, it's the fear of moving forward. It's self-doubt. It's anxiety. It's, depression. It's, you know, all these things that are so prevalent in our world and so powerful in our world that it's like, okay, where do I need to be? Like, what do I need? How do I need to move forward? So it's, it's what makes it so that moving forward in our world right now seems almost insurmountable. But remember also the devil is the conglomeration of chaos gods, you know, chaos nature gods. And there's this sense here of like, how do I let a little bit more chaos in my life? Or have I let too much chaos into my life? Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Saturn loves structure. A good spreadsheet is everything to a Capricorn. So just know here that there's this need to have everything be really structured. And that also plays into our Sagittarius, you know, mindset. Like, I just need to learn more. I just, I know what I know what I know. And I'll dive deeper into that knowledge. So just know here that we can really get caught up in just having to learn everything all the corners, all the avenues of it, but never really implementing it. So be aware of this. With the six of, of wands, we're not celebrating ourselves. We're not. We don't, we don't want to. Again, I don't know if this is, you know, oh, I'm going to be humble. I'm not going to celebrate myself. But I really see this as kind of like, I don't really see that there's a point in celebrating me. There's nothing really to celebrate right now. And that, that's harsh, man. I mean, that's, that's really harsh. So stop. I know I've been there. I do that, you know, but you are worth celebrating. You are. 
you know, I've started writing, I've started writing this journal and I say, I'm proud of myself. And I lean little tiny things like today, I gave the dog a bath. I am so proud of me as me was so stinky and it was absolutely beautiful outside. So she got a bath. And that was, that's something to be proud of. It could be little tiny things like that. Put all the dishes away, you know, that type of stuff. That's huge. And that's beautiful. So start celebrating you. Because there's a sense here of like, almost like I feel overlooked, a bit invisible. All right. Let them not see me, but I see me. And you know what? People start to notice that your energy vibration changes. It really does. Because all of a sudden, you're having fun, right? You're showing up for you. You're dressing for you. You're living for you. And people take notice because there's just so much humdrum <laughs> going on and so much misery and so much sorrow that people don't show up for themselves. With the Six of Pentacles, things aren't going to be really feeling that balanced right now. And I know that's not what you want to hear. And, you know, I wish I could say, oh, everything's going to be balanced and harmonized and perfect. But what Spirit is showing is that things don't feel as balanced as maybe they should be or they could be. And there's a sense of just feeling a little bit wobbly. Like this is a time where you feel a little bit wobbly. And that's okay. Make sure that you get paid for the work that you do. Make sure that you're, you know, just and fair with yourself, that you're not saying, oh, no, 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 it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it does matter. And like in the back of your head, you're, you're, you're keeping score. So just be aware of this, okay? Because this can, this can really frustrate you. All right, so let's see our subconscious thing to be aware of. Our subconscious message to be aware of is the Ten of Swords. This is, because we're kind of in an anxious state, what I'm seeing here is like things get a bit blown out of proportion really easily. We can become a little bit too sensitive, overthinking, overanalyzing. This is rebirth, right? Taking in all the knowledge and being reborn. But we're, we're fighting that change. So this is overkill. Things just subconsciously, we're going to tend to like overkill them, like overthink it, overanalyze it over, over, over. Just, just know that we need to, to be over this energy because it's not helping us. Our subconscious message from spirit here is divinity. Have your connection to the divine, whatever that is, however that, you know, manifests itself in your life. That connection to the divine is going to be something that's so helpful, so beautiful, so powerful for you. And also recognizing the God's head within you, you know, seeing that spark of the divine within you is, is going to be important because you see that divinity within you and then you start to see it within everybody else. Some people, it's a little bit harder. Our subconscious message here from the tarot is the queen of swords. And the queen of swords is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this is like, I know what I know. I've worked hard. I've gotten there and I've achieved. And you know what, Sagittarius, that's, that's very us too. I've worked hard. I've gotten there. I achieved. You know, I am cutting through the doubts and fears and negativity. But remember, the queen of swords is the only queen that holds a weapon. You know, the swords are the only weapon within the tarot. And she's fierce. She's practiced. She's noble. She's strong. And that might run, rub people the wrong way. and That's okay. But subconsciously, you fiercely know your strengths and what you want. And even if you're saying, nope, no, I don't. I mean, that it is completely, completely wrong. That's fair. But there's somebody around you. It could be a spirit guide. It could be a ancestor. It could be, you know, it could be a loved one that's in your life now. They know your strengths and they see it. And this person's going to be like a tad bit frustrated with you because they're like, why don't you see this? Why don't you embrace how great you are? So just be aware of that. All right. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you.
releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into, as we leave the safe and loving space. I wish you guys nothing but blessings and prosperity. May God bless you always. Bye.